Academic Search Premier and other EBSCO databases will provide you with machine-generated citations to the articles that you find, and that can be a good start for your Works Cited list. First, notice that in your result list, you have all the information you need to cite this article, but it's not formatted in MLA or any of the other standard styles. When you open an item to the detailed record view, you'll see the Cite icon. That opens a citation window above your detailed record and just scroll down to the style that you want. I'm going to go for MLA. Now these citations are machine generated and they'll usually get it almost but not quite correct and you'll have to edit them. Of course the author's name should not be in all caps so you'll have to fix that. One thing it often gets wrong is capitalization. In this title words like among, and, as, and by should not be capitalized. Another MLA rule these usually miss is that MLA tells us to leave the hundreds digit off the end page number unless it changes, so this 7 will have to be removed. Now another MLA problem you'll run into in EBSCO databases is the difference in how you cite a scholarly journal article and a magazine or newspaper article. For a journal article, MLA uses the volume and issue number, along with the year, to show which issue of the journal the article was in. But for magazines and newspapers, MLA tells us to use the actual date of the issue instead of the volume and issue number, even if the database provides them. Now, EBSCO uses the word periodical for magazines, which is not a great choice of words because technically journals, magazines, and newspapers are all periodicals. They all come out at set periods. And in this case they're wrong anyway because the Chronicle of Higher Education is a newspaper rather than a magazine, so they should have the icon for newspaper out there. But never mind. Just notice that this periodical icon or the newspaper icon is a clue that you'll probably need to fix the date in your citation. So let's go get that citation. Again you'll need to fix the capitalization and you would get rid of the fact that it's a cover story. That doesn't belong in the citation. But the main thing to notice here is that they've given the issue information in the format for a scholarly journal. Volume number, point, issue number, and the year in parentheses. But because this is a newspaper, MLA wants us to give the date instead. And we put it into this format, day, month, year. So we would replace this with 14 OCT period 2011. So remember, the EBSCO databases will give you a helpful start on your citations, but you definitely need to double check them. For more help with MLA or other formats, see our handouts under Research Guides. Scroll down to Term Paper Helps and you'll find our decoders and examples. The decoder will explain the rules for the citation format and the examples will give you lots of different situations. Or you might want to visit the Purdue Online Writing Lab for lots more information on MLA formatting and style. Just Google for Purdue OWL. And if you get stuck, there's more help at the Writing Center or ask your librarian.